How is the bell? It's popping. It's D. Boss your access to sell Illuminati event. It's titled DDG calls the industry on me after getting exposed. So I'm guessing DDG actually went through with his threat. Uh, so if you're not up to date, so Illuminati and DDG, they're beefing once again. And so Illuminati made a video uh, talking shit about DDG. And in the video, he played a very short clip of DDG's song. And DDG reacted to it and was like, I'm about to copyright it. I'm about to call my people. And we about to copyright your video because you play my music. And I'm going to get the money for your video. So I'm guessing he, he went through with it. I personally think this is like one of the lamest things you can do as a YouTuber is is try to strike someone's video or throw a copyright claim at them or try to get the money from a video that they put up. I just think it's so whack considering that we're all in this YouTube space. We're all grinding. We're all trying to get our bag or whatever the case. And it just sucks to try to bring down another channel in one way or another because honestly any type of strike or claim or whatever it 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 dings your account okay and if you have too many dings on your youtube account funny shit starts happening you start getting shadow banned you start having your videos get yellow marked which means that you don't get paid for them like all type of weird shit starts happening when you know people are uh trying to strike your channel or, or throwing claims or whatever at it so i just think it's so whack it's so whack i don't respect it at all when youtubers do it um because it's like you know firsthand as a youtuber the struggle of being on youtube and having to deal with all this bullshit so why would you make it harder on another youtuber you feel me and he's claiming that this is all all lighthearted. this is just for clicks and views but it's not lighthearted when you are actually coming for someone else's channel like that there's nothing lighthearted about that like that's like you're really trying to come for them, you know? So, I, I don't know. I, I just think it's whack. Y'all can go back and forth without needing to come for each other's actual livelihood in their channel and trying to get it, you know, uh, penalized in one way or another. So, I don't respect it, but whatever. Uh, yeah, let's see what Illuminati has to say about it. Let's watch. I'm going to just call and just see. Hello? Hey, um, I, got, I got a quick question. Um, yeah, emoji. So this this very mean person made a uh, a YouTube video very about me, but he put way too petty as a sound in the video. We can claim it, right? Uh, we should be able to. Yeah, if you use, if you use the sound, of that, you know how much of the sound he used. Yeah, he used he used a decent amount. I, can't you just do it because it's fair use, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It should be played by Sony Music. Okay, I'm gonna send you the link after this. So we can make them from Okay. I love you. Yes, I need the link. All right. Okay, bye. Uh, uh, he just got the biggest views of his life. I'm going to take it away. Uh. Now listen. And he was way too petty. Make sure so in the building. Cancer, cancer in the building, man. Simple. Hey, listen. This man, some way, somehow, I dropped a video talking about his girl. I dropped a video talking about him, him as a person. And some way, somehow, he made the entire thing still, like I told y'all, about money. It's either money, jewelry, cars, clothes. Which one is it? Motherfucking sprinklers turned on while I was out here trying to go crazy. High vibrations, good energy. But listen, it comes to a point he can't even respond to it. Notice, he called the industry and he asked them, can you please take the video down or can I please make money off the vid? Do you notice, out of everything I said about him, exposed him, I cussed, I said Disney exposed, all type of shit in the vid. If you reacted to the vid, you noticed it wasn't monetized. It was no ads on the vid. <laughs> there was no ads on the vid, it was no ads on the vid to begin with. For the viewer that don't know, this is my third channel. I'm not doing none of this for the money. The video was demonetized. I couldn't get paid for it anyway. All my videos get demonetized, just like my second channel. Look, 
This is all the videos. Some of us don't do this shit for money. Some of us actually come on here and expose and shit, man. You get what I'm saying? And when niggas come on here exposing shit, people like doodle garbage can only bring up money. He got to call the industry and stuff. Man, this is the 48 Laws of Power. I could literally take all his fans right now. He's, bro, he's, he's empty. He can't help nobody with mental health. He can't help nobody with depression. He'll probably just tell them, go get some money. <laughs> he has no genuine connection with anybody, bro. I told y'all, this nigga's, <laughs> everybody see it now. The only thing he could think about was money. Bro, how was you so vulnerable and bothered by a motherfucker dropping videos on his third channel with 200,000 subscribers and you have 4 million? <laughs> That's tough. <laughs> That's tough. My guy. I hate when he do that. <laughs> Bro, you really should retire. Your fans see you for what you are. These little niggas getting older. None of that jury and shit don't matter. They getting smarter. They like, bro, this nigga broke his feet, broke spiritually. He really broke his hell for real. He has nothing to offer for nothing. No, All he can do is tell. These don't care about money. But, hey, I rest my case. Everything I said has come true. Everything I said, the first thing he could think about was money. On a video that wasn't making no money in the first place. I'm glad y'all got a chance to watch it with no ads. Like majority of all my other vids. I cuss in every video, my nigga. It's not possible. I'm talking about selling soul and all this different shit. You think they really gonna pay me for this? That's tough. But, hey. Make sure you like, share, subscribe if you're new. Damn, I didn't know it already got demonetized to begin with. But that is what happens. That's what I was talking about at the beginning of the video. Once you start uh, putting up content repeatedly that YouTube deems to be uh, a bit more explicit or controversial or whatever the case like I said your channel starts to get deemed and after a while every video you put up will start to get yellow marked it'll start to get flagged like automatically and you have to request a manual review and sometimes that can take days it's just a hassle so it looks like that's what already occurred with uh the channel in question anyway i didn't realize it was on his second or third channel whatever he said um yeah i wasn't paying attention but yes yeah, so i guess i wasn't even on his main channel but still i still think it's lame to try to copyright someone's bid but yeah i guess the joke's on ddg because he can't get any money from that video anyway because uh it already got flagged as soon as he put it up so there's that. Anyway, uh, I said I wouldn't uh, <laughs> keep reacting to these videos and I'm going back and forth, but I, I wanted to see what he would say about this particular situation because, I, like I said, I did comment on this in the last bit and I was like, oh, that's super lame. Like, I don't agree with that because I personally have had to deal with uh, some YouTubers who tried to come for me in my channel and try to claim shit in my videos. So this is close to home. So I'm like, Hmm, what did he do? <laughs> and I wanted to see what some of them I had to say. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think about all this stuff. Let me know what other videos you want to watch, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye!